the asset trust organizer has been updated to feature a new dashboard that will allow us to determine whether your trust is being utilized to the fullest. Let's take a peek. Down below, under the balance sheet, we have several columns to indicate how each asset category is currently funded. For example, in this case, bank accounts are held jointly between the two spouses. Retirement accounts will always show up in the individual column since they must be owned by an individual during lifetime in most circumstances. So as we go through this balance sheet, our goal as we're doing trust funding is to ensure that the individual column and the joint column are zero or close to zero and that the trust columns, revocable trust, last trust, which is the irrevocable Medicaid planning trust, and then other irrevocable trusts are completely funded with all accounts. This then will provide us with various cost savings and protection. So as we look up above at the charts, we get a sense of how we can save on probate costs, costs of administration, and various taxes. For example, in this case, without doing any trust funding, meaning no accounts have made it into the trust, we anticipated that probate would cost around $12,000 and other administration expenses could run as much as $30,000. But under the funded trust column in orange, we see that the probate costs have decreased to 4,900. And that is because as we look below, we see that some of the life insurance and the real estate are titled in the trust. That leaves us with some joint accounts and possibly retirement accounts, depending on whether a beneficiary is named as probate problems or assets that would incur probate costs. But as soon as the individual and joint columns are zeroed out and these accounts are moved into the trust, then our probate costs will go down to zero. Under taxes, this particular estate is below the federal estate tax limit of $11.7 million, which is why there was no federal estate tax prior to trust planning. But this estate is subject to a state estate tax at death. And that was estimated at $163,000. Well, so far, $483,000 have been moved into the trust, which is saving around $40,000 in taxes. So again, the goal is to get as many of these accounts down below over into the trust columns on the right to reduce our costs up here, up above. In terms of assets at risk, we see a breakdown of which accounts are still currently exposed to various risk categories, such as long-term care. In this case, we have a zero that is protected for long-term care because down below, the last trust column, which is our Medicaid planning trust, has nothing in it. Now that may be because this client did not prepare or decide to implement an irrevocable trust, 
or it may be because some of the accounts haven't been funded into that trust yet. In either case, this shows us up above that a full $2.787 million is exposed to the costs of long-term care. The killer Ds for non-retirement accounts and the killer Ds for retirement accounts refer to inheritance protection for beneficiaries. As a reminder, the killer Ds are divorcing spouses, debt collection, disputes, disability benefits, death taxes, and destructive spending habits. And our goal with trust planning is to protect as many of the accounts as possible from these various pitfalls. In this circumstance, all of the retirement accounts, $1.9 million, have not yet been funded into the trust, meaning the trust is not the beneficiary. And therefore, none of it is protected from the killer Ds. We have some protected up above for non-retirement accounts from the killer Ds. And again, that is because in this circumstance down below, the real estate has been funded into the trust. And so the real estate will be protected. Finally, over to the right, it is important to note that there should be various provisions in planning put into the trust document itself in order to achieve some of these reduced costs and reductions in risks that we've been talking about. For example, the SECURE Act was passed last year and affected whether retirement assets would be protected for beneficiaries. So if we have new language in your trust and that is marked yes, then we will gain protection as long as that trust is funded. And another example is that when we are asked by clients, which is becoming quite frequently to serve as a trustee or executor for their estate, that often has an impact on the overall costs of administration and can reduce that. The asset trust organizer is therefore a very important tool to ensure that the trust you've spent so much time and energy and thought creating and putting into place with us at the start is being fully utilized the way that you intended and we intended for you to maximize your cost savings and to maximize the protection for your beneficiaries. This dashboard is a great way to have a snapshot of whether you are at the proper place in your planning.